Yo, what is up you guys? Chase pulling up on your screen. If you guys are new to my channel, please go hit that subscribe button and join the gang. Anyways, um, today guys, I'm probably just going to show you guys some more about the Doom Buggy. Um, because we got some cool things coming along. Uh, still have not figured out about the starter and why it's not starting, but we know it's not the starter. Now... Right now, it's actually kind of late, so I do have one thing to show you guys tonight before I edit this video and post it tonight, because it's Friday, but this is definitely giving me senioritis right here. Got my stuff hanging up there, waiting for the day that I have to walk, but I only have one more month of school, so this doom buggy has to be done soon, and I'm just going to tell you guys this. Um, <clears throat> let's just talk a little bit. So, I'm pretty sure I said something about getting cables in, like, the next video for the gas pedal and the brake pedal. Well, the guy that we talked to said he couldn't get us, you know, lines that long, at least six foot. So, and he said if we did... It would have to be custom made and it would be quite a while before they come in. Now I'm sitting here just like, dude, we can't wait that long. But and then he said something about boat throttles. He said those, you know, are pretty dang long. They're really, really long. And I was like, Dad, we have two boats in the backyard that are not being used. Like, they're literally, like, scrap. My brother bought them to, like, fix up a whole boat and see if he can get it working. But that's not really happening. But also, you know, that's not really a big deal because it was off the crappy boat that we found two throttles that were super, super long. And I just have to say, we have a gas pedal now. Still are working on the brake pedal, but at least tonight you guys will see the gas pedal and shop here. Um, so that definitely delayed us from getting that thing out of the garage and actually test driving it. But I'm thinking in the next few days here, like this weekend, it's going to be out of that garage and we're going to be driving it. So it's going to be crazy, guys. Oh, I just got back from eating dinner actually with my parents, so I don't know why I'm just like burping. But yeah, I'm probably gonna go out there and show you guys a little bit here soon. Whenever my uncle is not skinning a beaver, and I don't really want to show that on YouTube because most people probably don't want to see that. So. I'm going to wait until he's done with that, and then I'll go show you guys the whole brake system, well, the gas pedal system. My dad took, like, three hours, he said, at work today making these little points to where each um, thing's, like, go in. And I think he did one heck of a job on it, and it's just crazy. So I want to show you guys all that kind of stuff that he's been doing. And we actually went to the hardware store today and got some little rings that you can put the cables through and stuff like that. So that was definitely, definitely a cool thing that we did. Um, and I want to share that with you guys because this is probably one of the most creative parts going into this build right now. We have a boat throttle cable for the brake and the gas. For the gas right now, but it's, we're working on the brakes still. Still have to mount them. But, and we're probably going to tomorrow do a lot of work on this thing and that means we're probably gonna really get this starter working like we're gonna try to get it working and then brakes will be done probably tomorrow and we're gonna test drive this thing probably tomorrow that's all I have to say because if the starter does not work if we cannot get it working tomorrow we can still test drive it by pulling it so we might end up doing that but yeah anyways guys let's head outside and take a look at this thing Alrighty guys, he just left. Um, I mean, my uncle just left. But, yeah, we got some stuff going on here, guys. 
Um, the main thing I want to show you is, wow, 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 shit. Yeah, look at what's just laying on the ground. A nice solenoid. I can't tell you guys how many of these we've went through. But that's an old one from the Arctic Cat snowmobile. And we tried it and it doesn't work. We even went out and bought this brand new solenoid. It worked for a little bit. Doesn't work anymore. This is off of a lawnmower. Worked a little bit. Doesn't work anymore. This one, we have not even seen it work once. This is a tiny, tiny little one. I'm pretty sure it was on the Doom Buggy originally. Not going to work at all. And yeah, there's another one laying around here. I don't really know where it is. But it's not the whole point. Basically, they just none of them are working. So we're going to go to the store and buy one more tomorrow and see if it works. But for now, I just got to show you guys this. As you guys can see, push down, comes back. And that does that because we have this hooked up all the way across here. And then my dad made this. This is what I wanted to show you guys. This is the thing that my dad made. And basically what this is, is this right here. This has three different cables going into it. And that's why this has this adapter right here. But basically... We, my dad made one of these so we could connect each cord. And I kind of want to give you guys, this is a boat cable right here. Just look how long this is. I'm still pulling it. Yeah, this long. <laughs> these things are crazy long and they are not like a regu regular cable. A cable is basically a bunch of wires kind of like winded together and you know it's a little more flexible. These these boat ones, they're literally a wire. It's a straight wire. You can't really bend it that much, so that's just the main the main struggle about what we have going on here. But we do have another one as you can tell, it's laying on the floor here, and we're going to hook that up to the brake tomorrow. This thing is hopefully going to be riding tomorrow my dad is literally saying like we want it to be riding tomorrow i just made these brackets while i was out here and my uncle and my dad were out here um i'm probably gonna put these because this chair is actually broken probably gonna put these on here like like so and then yeah i'm just gonna like screw down the hard points of it and just make sure this thing is very, that it'll stay still at least. Because, you know, it's always nice if it would. But, yeah, that's the main thing I wanted to show you guys. And I just want to point this out. These springs are probably not going to end up going on here. <laughs> if you guys look at this, I need to uh, collapse that black piece down to here. And that's just the thing. This thing, these things are so hard to collapse by yourself. You know, you almost need some tools for it. Uh, but I don't really think this would even fit here. You know, like it would be pushing down on this whole thing and it might just hurt it. But we don't really know yet. And these ones are obviously from the Arctic Cat. Those ones are from the Polaris, which this is the Polaris motor. And yeah, I mean, I'm really happy with, like, how it's going so far. We do have these plates still welded here. I'm pretty sure my dad fixed them. Oh, it doesn't even look like they're welded on there. Oh. This one's not welded on here, but they're where they need to be, at least, in a good spot. I think my dad put them there. Um, yeah, we're really trying to get this thing going as fast as we can, but I'm pretty sure my dad has to make another one of these, possibly. That's if he joins this piece to the other one. But I'm, he might just end up putting it straight into here. And then so he can pull it just straight. Because we do have this long, long cable. But, yeah, it's looking kind of cool, guys. Um, I don't know. Like, I, I just really want to get this thing out of here. Looking at the front of it. 
It's a mean beast, man. I, I mean, I ain't, I'm just really happy. I don't even know what I'm trying to say right now. But, yeah, I do want to show you guys some more pieces that my dad was actually working on. He has another uh, thing here. This is basically what it is. If I unscrew this. It's just a tube. And basically you have this. Now, whoa, how does this work? Well, basically... This goes in here because you got to cut out a hole to put this in here. And it has a hole on the side. I don't even know if it'll focus. You guys can kind of see the hole. Maybe this one will be easier to see. Yeah, you guys can kind of see the hole there. Basically, you have to make uh, a slot so this will go all the way through, at halfway at least. And then the other one, it goes through this. And that, like, the cable will go through this hole. And then you clamp it through this onto these little gold pieces. And then the other one was literally, you know, already had a T point on it. And you just kind of made it fit. And you just made another piece for that. And that's basically how he did that. I helped him put it all together actually on that one. And I will say that is not something most people can just go out and do. My dad has a lot of skill into this whole thing. Like, as you can see, he had to cut a sliver to even slide that in there. But it still goes over this. And this is put apart like a perfect amount. So everything opens and closes because if it's too tight this throttle won't even come back but you can kind of hear it in the back it's opening and closing and that is good that is what we want we made sure all that was good so yeah tomorrow we're gonna get a new starter guys we're gonna see if this works I, I'm telling you, we went through so many starters. We've talked to so many people on like how to get this thing working. We've even put, basically, you get a cord like this. You put it over your battery. I'm not even showing you guys. Put it over your battery and ground it straight to the ground. And that should automatically give you an automatic startup. And this thing does not start though, so... We're gonna go buy, we actually were at the hardware store today and when we went there the first time, the guy, and it's funny because we're really good friends with him, we asked him if he had any starters. He said, I think we got a few, and he showed us this one that I've seen already, and I was like, all right, it's only a three cylinder, or a three prong, and that means this prong, this prong, and this prong. This is um, battery, well, actually, this one's a battery, and then this one would be the starter. That's the red wire there. And then this small one is, I'm pretty sure, has something else to do with the starter or something like that. But, yeah, um, it's just really crazy, honestly. Oh, I don't know why I said that. This black one is a starter. This red one goes to the battery. And then, now that I'm looking at this one. And then, yeah, this is the little prong one right here. This one, as you can tell, has four. When we first took the first one off, it was a four prong. Now, we thought this would work, but this thing is so old, it's probably just rusted out and dead. Which really makes sense, because it is rusty, and it's just kind of dead. But, yeah, those are basically all the updates on the Doom Buggy right now, guys. Uh... We haven't really figured out the lights yet. We're probably just going to run a bigger battery and then hook the lights up straight to the battery so I can actually use them at nighttime. And then I'll just have to have batteries on me or come back and recharge the batteries. Now, that's not really a big deal to me because I just want to see this thing run by the time my senior project is due. That's the whole point in this project. So we're hoping at least tomorrow we can get this thing going. Like, I can just start it right up now for you guys by just pulling this. 
but I'm not even gonna do that because I just don't want to waste I don't want to be too loud first of all and I don't want to waste the excitement for you guys to see it when it actually is running and me driving it because my dad is very excited to take a video tomorrow hopefully tomorrow of me driving this thing but more updates on the doom buggy will be coming very very soon we're hoping that we can get all this stuff figured out uh honestly i would not be able to do this without my dad probably he's taught me so much in like working on this thing and that's the whole point in a senior project is to show that you've learned something like a skill and i'll tell you what i've definitely learned some i learned basic things like how to weld um like just how a motor works in general and every little piece how we can fit it and like do all this stuff it's honestly amazing time being out here and doing this with my dad uh guys out there watching this video go spend some time with your dad if you guys like get along with your dad then that's a great thing i mean your mom too like i have a great uh connection with my dad already but i love being out here and just doing things with him just it's so amazing just being out here being able to laugh with them and do things like this you know our our opportunities are not very high like other people's like we don't have a lot of money and things like that but that never stops us from doing something that we love to do and that's always been something in my head I'm pretty sure I get that from my dad you know he works his butt off just to do things for us and I think that's amazing, but you guys gotta realize, parents, if you say you hate them, I've had friends say that they hate their parents. I've probably said it in my life, but there's really no point. Why Why do you say that? Those are the people that brought you on your life, unless, unless your parent is abusive and other things like that. That's a different story, but if they really do try, and you can, you can tell when they actually try, guys. Okay, I don't know why my camera just turned off. Don't think my battery's dead, but I better uh, end this soon. That's probably telling me I guess end this soon. So I'm gonna show you guys clear, clear. It's been a little while. But anyways, guys, if you guys did enjoy this video, please go give a thumbs up on it. And if you guys aren't already subscribed, please go hit that subscribe button, join the gang. I still don't even know what a name is, but we can call ourselves the Chase It Gang if you want. If you guys are down with that, we'll call ourselves the Chase It Gang for now. And because we chasing it every single day. But anyways guys, yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy. And this is Chase. And I'm signing out. Peace guys. <laughs>